Hi, I'm Carlos Lucia 99. I'm here on Cards and Talk. And in honor of the NBA Finals, my card of the week will be my Dark Nowitzki autograph IP honor I acquired when I first started on the community. One of my favorite cards, my only basketball card. I might try and get into collecting basketball cards as well, but for now, just baseball. And then, so, I'm, it feels like kind of, I'm mean, doing a lot in NBA, but it has been playoffs. And I, this will be the last installment, unless the series goes to seven games about the NBA Finals. And I have big stuff planned this summer, a big announcement coming on June 21st. And a lot's going to be happening on Cards and Talk. Also, if you did not know, I started Cards and Talk Instagram. Go give it a follow, Cards and Talk. I will be posting a lot there with a lot of news. That is where my, the big announcement on June 21st will happen. will be on Cards and Talk Instagram, so make sure to check it out. So in the NBA Finals, the Raptors took a 2-1 lead against the Warriors in Game 3. And I see this as the Raptors are going to win in six. Now, I feel like game three is going to be the most pivotal game. And then I see the Raptors going on to win game four, lose game five, but then win in game six and become NBA champions with Kawhi Leonard as... No, with Pascal Siakam as NBA Finals MVP. He's been killing it, and I see it happening. And then just yesterday, Craig Kimball... Signed with the Chicago Cubs. And I'm very excited about it. And I was skeptical at first because I thought it might cost us Bryant or Baez, but it won't because sadly Ben Zobrist is retiring and so his money will be going to Craig Kimball. I'll talk more on Zobrist later. I'm just, I'm excited to see Craig Kimball. I'm hoping he can tear it up for us and do really well. And I'm just hoping he does well. And I feel like this is a great signing for the Cubs. I'm, it might be on a little bit of a lot of money and maybe should have done a two-year deal. But overall, I like the signing. And then just today, just 15 minutes before I started recording, Fred, um, Dallas Keiko signs with the Atlanta Braves. I thought he was signing with the Yankees. But he signs with the Braves. I see this as a great signing. Atlanta needing a pitcher really badly. And they go out and get Dallas Keitel. Great pickup. Keitel, I feel, is going to have a pretty good year with Atlanta. And Atlanta really needed him. He signed a one-year deal, $13 million. His first schedule start is going to be in AAA on Saturday. That's rumored the Braves have not confirmed that yet. And I see this as a great signing for the for Atlanta. And then now I'm finally going to do my NBA free agent predictions. I've been wanting to do it for a while, but other things have come up. But this is finally time to do it. I'm doing the best five players from each position. Maybe more. We'll see how it goes. Number five, point on Ron Dragic. I see him re-signing with the Miami Heat. I just feel like the Heat are looking... I don't, I don't see the Heat training, not let, letting Ron Dragic walk. But if they do, another place I could see him going to could be the Bucks as... Eric Bledsoe's good, but, like, Dragic can be a good bench piece to help them try and go further in the playoffs next year, try and reach the NBA Finals. And then I can also see the Suns trying to sign Jordan Dragic, too, as he's he's a good point guard. The Suns need a point guard. And for the Suns also, this is not about Jordan Dragic, but I feel like the Suns should try and sign Ricky Rubio. I just feel like he's a great fit. He can get assist, and he can also get some points and has a lot of good experience.
and I feel like that'd be a good signing for them. Malcolm Brogdon, I see him signing with the Bucks. D'Angelo Russell, I see him re-signing with Brooklyn, but I could see him going to Chicago and Minnesota. But I'm pretty sure the the Nets aren't going to let him walk. Kemba Walker, I have him on three teams. He's either re-signing, going to the Dallas Mavericks, or going to Minnesota. I can see Kemba signing with Minnesota, and Minnesota, they need a star to try and get it. And I can definitely see him signing there. And then Kyrie Irving, he's not going back to the Celtics. No way. I see him signing with the Brooklyn Nets. And possibly, I can even, also the Lakers, but I can even see him possibly signing with the Knicks, but I don't, I don't really think so. I feel like Brooklyn's his best bet. And then Terrence Ross, I see him re-signing with Orlando. Jeremy Lamb, I see him signing with a contender, maybe like the Bucks. Uh, 76ers maybe, just have a nice boost for the bench. Danny Green, I, it depends. If they win the NBA Finals, he's going back. If they lose, he's going to a different contender, I feel like. I don't know which one, but that's my question. JJ Redick, I see him re-signing with Philly. Clay Thompson is either re-signing with Golden State, going to LA, or going to the Dallas Mavericks, which I would love to see. Have a not done sure. Have him lean his own team with Luka and Porzingis and do some damage in playoffs there. And I would love to see that as a Mavs fan. Bojan Bogdanovic, going back to the Pacers. Chris Middleton is either re-signing with the Bucks or signing with the Mavs, I feel like. He'd be another good fit. Jimmy Butler, on his story a while ago, posting Dallas on his Instagram story. So I see him either going back to Philly, Dallas, or maybe even Back to Chicago, that's my dark horse of who's going to sign Jimmy, but I doubt that's going to happen. Kawhi Leonard, I feel like he's going to re-sign with the Raptors. He recently purchased a house in Toronto, I believe. So, Kevin Durant, he can call him a New York Nick, in my opinion. Thaddeus Young, going back to the Pacers, in my opinion. Paul Millsap, he's going back to Denver or whichever team offers him the most money. He's getting old. He just, he wants to, I don't know. Julius Randle, I feel like he's going to the Suns. He said he would like to go to Phoenix. Imagine that. This could be the Suns. They could trade their pick for a nice small forward. Uh, I don't know. I'm leaving the pick out of this because I don't remember what they have off the top of my head. Ricky Rubio, Devin Booker. Kelly Oubre, Julius Randle, DeAndre Ayn, and who they draft to be their sixth man. I that That's a good team, and I can see them being a dark horse to make playoffs. Chris Tops, I feel he's coming back to the Mavericks. I don't see anywhere else he would go. Plus, he, he's a restricted team. Tobias Harris, I can see him going to many teams. Maybe Clippers, back to Clippers. I can see him staying in Philly. I can even see him going to Minnesota and possibly even Dallas. I'm saying Dallas a lot, but I feel like they have a good chance they can do a lot. Brooke Lopez, I feel like he's going back to the Bucks. Marcus Hall, he's going to settle back in Toronto, I believe. Nikola Vucevic, I see trying to get as much money and going to a better team which would really help the Orlando Magic. Al Horford is probably going back to the Celtics. And then DeMarcus Cousins. Not a lot of people just have a prediction for where he's going, but I honestly think he's going to the Atlanta Hawks. That team can be so good. Trey Young, they draft a shooting guard with one of their picks. Then they draft a small forward, John Collins, DeMarcus Cousins. That's an underrated team and could definitely be a dark horse in the playoffs. And I like that team. 
So th that is my free agent predictions, NBA Finals recap, and some LMB major news. Thanks for listening. Also, stay tuned for the big announcement on June 21st. And make sure to follow Cards and Talk on Instagram for that big announcement. Thank you for listening. I'll see you next time. Bye.